For this week, in week three, we complete our second week of planning, specifically looking at three aspects. We began the week by discussing different types of supplementary material where we uh, talked about together as a group different examples based on our own units of what type of supplementary material uh, might be useful. The second key concept that we talked about uh, this week was taking those examples of supplementary material and then looking at how we might adapt the content for our English language learners. And we concluded discussing this week looking at different assessments and specifically looking at performance tasks and trying to determine how we might use the GRASPS framework to a particular activity or series of activities or tasks that would relate to uh, building the understandings and essential questions that we uh, developed last week. So this week we want to look at listing out different types of supplementary materials and different ways that we might adapt our content given those specific examples of supplementary materials and then look at uh, performance tasks using the GRASPS framework that looks at uh, one of the ways in which we can go about assessing our, our students. Now, uh, there are other ways that we can go about uh, collecting information and assessing our students. I've listed a few here. Another one that, uh, that is not on this list, which I'll include it right now, and uh, those are quizzes and basically traditional types of uh, assessments that also would uh, be a part of our overall collection of different types of, of assessments that we might employ throughout a given unit. Uh, the point that I want to make uh, or stress here is uh, I want us to think in terms of performance tasks, not to say the performance task is the only way that we're going to assess our students over the course of a unit, but it's certainly an important key aspect of an overall assessment program. And so I'd like for us to look at and work on um, our, our performance tests, trying to fill out the GRASP framework, looking at a particular goal, role, audience, situation, product process and purpose, and standards. And trying to frame this performance test in terms of the GRASP framework, but also in a way that aligns with your essential questions and your understandings and also the declarative and procedural knowledge that you mentioned and uh, thought about last week. So tying in our performance tests, think about uh, the four aspects uh, based on the assignment from last week. Uh, try to align the performance test, thinking in terms of the understandings and central questions that you develop, specifically looking at the declarative knowledge or those facts, dates, formulas that you were looking at, as well as the procedural knowledge or the language, uh, the language objectives that you thought about uh, again last last week with regard to your particular unit. So uh, please upload this assignment both here to your assignment option and also to your individual wiki found here. If you do have any questions about this assignment feel free to email me or obviously you can ask me uh, in class.